People may not have been reading Humanae Vitae, but they were reading Cosmopolitan, which was filled with thrilling stories about the happiness that the sexual revolution was bringing women. Unfortunately, those stories weren't true. Now, when I was at the University of Missouri School of Journalism, we could choose a magazine to study, and I had chosen Cosmopolitan. Reading these articles in Cosmo, I said, these are too pat. These, these stories are made up. And when I got to Cosmo and got on staff, I found out they were. <laughs> so they were too, they were too clean, they even were at too the time. They were too perfect, yeah. too perfect. Helen Gurley Brown had written a little handout on writing things, and she even had guidelines on how to make, it, make up an expert. It's much easier than actually going out and finding some expert who's quotable. And I remember one time making up uh, an expert, and I just called him a Los Angeles psychologist. <laughs> but, but I mean, I'm laughing about it now, but of course it was, it was a very serious thing. These young women believed these stories, and they were just sex fantasies, and we began, they began to live them. That yeah, was give the me an example of the type of well, story you would Well, the, this kind of story that, she, you know, this woman is, she uh, goes to Paris, she meets a man on the Champs-Élysées, she helps him order a pastrami sandwich at a Jewish deli. They go back to the hotel on the left bank, they fall into bed uh, laughing, and the next morning she knows she's in love. Well, that woman, that woman didn't actually exist. We presented these stories like women were having these wonderful lives. And don't think about it, you know, you're out there in Michigan, you've got three kids, the, the, you know, the baby just threw up on your shoulder. And this just sounds so wonderful that these women are living these exciting lives. And women divorce their husbands over these things.